Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Holder and I've been living in Bali for the last three years. Now, if you would have told me three to four years ago when I was 24, 25 years old, like, hey, you are going to be living abroad, I would have such a hard time believing you because I was not the type of girl that was brave enough to solo travel, let alone live in another country away from my family. And I hate to admit it, but I think the biggest reason why I actually ended up moving abroad was because of my boyfriend, Ryan, and us going together. So when we first started dating in 2020, he basically told me, hey, I'm going to move to Bali. So you're either coming with me or you're staying here, but basically like our relationship is not gonna prevent me from going to Bali. And I really admired that about him because in my family culture, I'm not supposed to leave like my family unit, especially on my mom's side. Um, and so me making the decision to move abroad was a huge problem in my family dynamic and actually still is causing me problems to this day. And I think living abroad is so romanticized and for a good reason, but there are a lot of sacrifices that you have to make, like not being around your family. But <sighs> obviously, I'm still living in Bali three years later, so I'm a big fan of it. There's so much value that you get, new perspectives, new way of living that I think is so important. And again, if you are the type of person who has solo traveled or you live abroad or moved abroad by yourself, I seriously admire you. And in hindsight now, I wish I would have been brave enough to do that when I was 24, 25 years old. I'm going to be 30 in just a few months now. And looking back on it, I'm like, oh, I should have just done it. I wish I was brave enough. So if you are in a position where you're thinking about living abroad, I highly recommend it. Make sure that you're prepared. You will make friends. Don't worry. And just be smart about it. You know, be safe. Use your common sense and you'll, you'll always be okay. So Ryan has headed off to the gym and I am just being a lazy girl. I'm skipping the gym today. I'm about to go downstairs and make a coffee. I just bought a new coffee machine, which I'm super excited to use. And then today Ryan and I are going to go to a DJ store to look at some DJ decks because he is actually looking into getting into music. Now, I love this for him because he works so hard and I think it's so important for everybody to have some sort of creative outlet. You need to have multiple outlets that challenge you, a physical outlet, a mental outlet, creative outlet, and he doesn't have that right now. So this is going to be his creative outlet and I'm really excited for him. For me, it's making these videos for you guys, which I absolutely love doing. So yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. I also have a couple ideas in my head that I really wanna try to bring to fruition and like make them come to life. Um, so I'll share more about that with you guys later in the video. So let's get downstairs, have a little coffee and get our morning started. I can go. 
decision. Mm -hmm. You're gonna buy one. Yeah, I already knew that. You came in knowing. What do you think I was you just gonna film my looks? I don't know, maybe. Okay. Now you have to learn. Yeah, I'm gonna get a teacher. I got a I got a card for a teacher. So he's gonna come to our villa around. So when's your first set? <laughs> My home set? Yeah. Tampa Hill. Stay tuned for his first set. quickly on our way home because I have this idea that I want to host a like turn your home into a cafe because I just bought a coffee machine and I don't have any actual proper coffee cups so I went to pick out a couple coffee cups and then I'm going to make this happen invite my girlfriends over and we're gonna do like a proper cafe so packaging up the cups that I bought and then we're heading home Okay, let's do a little unboxing in the cups that I just got. This one has a matching cup that is similar in style. Let me see if I can find it. Oh yeah, this one's so cute. So this one's like bigger latte. This would be more like cappuccino size. And then I got two of these cups. These ones are just cute. These can also be used like for tea. The last two Ryan picked out. Oh yeah, this one's cute. I wanted them all to be different, but kind of like the same similar like style-ish. I really like these, like they look hand painted, like watercolor painting. They're kind of messy. They're not like super perfect. I really like that in a coffee cup. So now I actually have proper coffee cups. So when my girlfriends come over and I can make them coffee, we can all have our own little cute cup to drink out of. I stayed in the sauna for 21 or 22 minutes. Ryan did 30 what? 35 or something. 35 minutes. And then we went in the ice bath and then you get that euphoric, like high feeling where your whole like body is like, feels so crazy. Now I'm ready to go home, take a shower, eat dinner and go to sleep. Morning. 
I am turning my dream into reality. I originally got this idea of like turning your home into a cafe for a day from TikTok, of course. And I really loved the idea for many reasons. One, because my girlfriends and I love to drink coffee. We are all morning girlies. And this is like the perfect way to treat them and like have them come over. Also, I just moved into this villa not too long ago and I haven't had the opportunity to really have friends come over and like host, which I love doing. So I was like, oh, this is perfect. And I got this brand new coffee machine that I'm really excited to use, but bear with me because I cannot for the life of me do latte art. I swear to God, I've watched the videos. I just can't get the milk right. So maybe I need to take a latte art class or something, but I hold my friendship so close to my heart, especially out here in Bali because living abroad can be so lonely. And when you first move abroad, you need to put so much time, energy, and effort into making connections that are deeper than surface level conversations because it will never feel like home until you have those real friendships and those real connections. So my girlfriends I've known for a few years now and I love them so much and I can call them for anything if I need anything and that feels really good to have out here because we're like family to each other so I'm excited to treat them let me show you guys what I have set up mm -hmm. 